Okay, good morning everybody. It is Monday, February 10th, 6.30 in the morning at Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center in downtown St. Petersburg. I'm Scott Roberts, your host of the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better morning stretch and exercise session. I'm so excited after this weekend. I spent all weekend in class learning new things to help uh, other people and myself uh, become more mobile and more stable and uh, be able to live a better life because of the ability to move better. So uh, I'm really excited to be able to share some of these um, approaches and concepts with you guys, both through this and uh, in our office um, down here in downtown St. Petersburg. We're located at 19 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street South. And if, uh, if any of this sounds interesting to you or, uh, you know, if you're enjoying watching this and participating in this with me, whether it be live uh, here in the, in the hallway, or if it's live through the video, or even if you replay it later, uh, please like and share uh, this video and our page with other people that you know that could use and benefit from it. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started because that's what we're here for. We can talk all day long, but that's not going to help us. Either. All right, so um, I had to take my yoga mat with me over there for the weekend, and uh, it's in the back of Jimson's truck. So I had to go get this exercise pad that's trying to roll up on me. It's going to be a little bit fun, fun trying to uh, wrestle with it this morning, but it's okay. I'm so glad to be here and uh, be here with you this morning. So, all right, let's go ahead and stand up. Please get a belt, a strap, a rope. Um, whatever you might have that doesn't have any stretch or pliability to it at all, okay? First, we're going to go ahead and reach up over our heads. Make sure you do not pull the small of your back forward and jut your hips and your lower back out. Just go ahead and stand straight up with your hands over your head. Let's get those shoulders moving a little bit. This should feel really, really good just to move your shoulders first thing in the morning. Bring it down to about shoulder level, to the left, to the right. Notice I'm not moving my chest, it's just the arms that are moving together. We're opening up the shoulder joint. All right. Go ahead and shake your arms out, hands overhead, leaning to the right, and back up, back over. The power of breathing is extremely important. Please make sure you're not holding your breath during these stretches and these movements. Because the muscles that are involved in your posture absolutely need oxygen, they're endurance muscles. Over to the left. Sit on down. We're going to work a little bit on the head and neck and get it open and loose. This helps uh, provide blood flow and oxygen to the brain as well. So it's really a good way to start off your Monday morning, getting everything moving, uh, getting you ready for your week. I don't know about you guys, but I have a very busy week coming up, so it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. First thing we're going to do is pull our head, our chin, down towards our chest bone. Oh, I forgot 
have to tell you guys some good news while we're stretching here. So you may remember last week I checked in at 284 pounds. 284 pounds. My goal is to get down below 240 by my birthday, June 6th. Turn your head about 45 degrees to the right, tuck in the chin. So this morning, I weighed in at 275. 275. So in seven days, I've lost nine pounds. Seven days, nine pounds. I don't know about you, but that's pretty exciting to me. I'm looking forward to losing another eight to, uh, eight to 10 pounds this week. So you may be asking, well, geez, Scott, what are you doing different than what you were doing before? The number one thing, uh, there's a few things that I'm gonna share with you. One, drink lots of water. Water, 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 water. Hydrate yourself, hydrate your body. Your body will start to lose water weight because it knows that it doesn't have to hold on to it because you're hydrating it. Get rid of things like soda. It's just syrup and sugar, and it's gonna make your body feel inflamed, inflamed, excuse me. It's not good for you. So that's, that's one thing that's really important. Um, secondly, be really careful about what you're putting in your body with your food. So vegetables, proteins, uh, carbohydrates, you know, very little carbohydrates, very, very little. Um, some starches like rice are really good for you. Uh, but those are some of the things I'm doing. And then of course, participate in some movement. If nothing else, walk for at least 20 minutes straight every single day. 20 minutes of uninterrupted walking, preferably not the leisurely walk along the beach holding hands kind of walk. Those are nice, but a little bit more of a brisk pace, like you have somewhere to go. That walk is just short of a run. That feels particularly good for me pulling my head to the right. And the other important thing is to watch your portion size. You know, only put a little bit on your plate. You know, we have a, a, a societal impulse in, in, in the United States to clear our plate. You know, if, uh, if it's heaped up, you have to eat everything on that plate. That's not true. You know, eat smaller portions of protein. It should fit in the palm of your hand is a good uh, rule of thumb. Uh, whether it be, you know, steak, chicken, um, for you, those of you that are not okay with eating meat, that's okay too. Um, you know, portobello mushrooms are a great uh, source of protein as well. Um, but anyway, just smaller portions is about what I'm trying to get to, you, to tell you. I'm not trying to tell you what to eat or not eat. I'm not a dietitian or anything like that. All right, so now that our heads feel a little bit looser, we're gonna go ahead and come to our mat. We're gonna lay down on our stomachs. Actually, lay down on your backs, I'm sorry. Lay down on your back. All right. So what I want you to do is I want your feet to be a little bit more shoulder width apart, maybe just off the mat. Put your arms out to your side, palms facing up. Now I'm gonna rotate my shoulders and my hips. I'm gonna bring my toes together and my palms down towards the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, keep on, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. This is a great way to get blood flow to move into your limbs and your outer extremities, to your legs and your arms. Beautiful thing, you can do this laying in your bed, for crying out loud. How easy is that? Laying in your bed before you even get moving. All right, good stuff. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do this in a little bit different order uh, today. 
than we have in the past. I've, I've usually done all of my stretching up front and then save those core exercises for the end. I'm going to go ahead and integrate one here in the middle. So what we're going to do is called a dead bug. Um, these are not easy. Um, you're definitely going to feel it, but it's going to help engage your core and give you the ability to hold yourself better throughout your day. Okay, so have you ever seen one of those bugs that's twitching on the floor, jogging its back, it can't figure out how to roll over? All right, we're gonna actually do some of that today. We're gonna do some rolling over, so this is gonna be really great. All right, so lift your knees and your feet off the ground. Now you're in this position, all right? Then you're gonna take your arms as if you're sleepwalking or zombie walking out in front of you, okay? Or in this case, above you because you're laying on your back. Then, we're gonna move in about a 12 inch window, those arms and legs, activating your core to do this. And it won't take very long, especially if you're just beginning to work on your mobility and stability to feel this. So whenever you need to, put your feet down, put your arms down. If you can, keep going, and that's good too, okay? There we go, nice. Remember, do not hold your breath. Good, set your feet down, take your arms, put your elbows out, same height as your shoulders. Rotate your hands down towards the ground. You should be able to put the back of your hand against the floor that you're on. Some of you may not be able to, okay? Go as far as you can, wherever that is. If you can put them on the ground, press a little bit. Activate that posterior chain back behind you. Activate the posterior chain across the back of your, of your back, and your, you know, uh, between your shoulder blades, along your shoulder blades. So just push down into the ground. If you can, you're here, push your elbows back towards the ground. That's okay. Push. Right? You go 
but man, this is so basic. But it's a lot harder than I thought. Notice that everything that I'm doing is kind of in slow motion. Isn't it? Alright, we're not creating momentum to create the movement. We're learning, relearning all ways of moving that we've forgotten. Okay? Now let's do it with our legs instead. So this time I'm going to lift my left leg. I'm going to reach over with that left leg to the right, touching the ground, and rolling onto the side. Now I'm going to reach back with my foot, back, 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 and straighten that leg, and the chest rolls with it. Right leg up, over to the ground, reaching behind me, pointing my toes, chest rolls with it. Reach, 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 reach with that back foot, right foot in this case, touching the ground, rolling yourself over. That is some really, really, really good stuff. All right, so simple. So you're going to see a lot more of this type of stuff from me in the coming weeks as I practice everything that I've learned this weekend, being able to help myself and help you become more mobile and more stable so that you can be healthy and feel better and not have pain and discomfort and things that are inhibit you from doing what you have to do and what you need to do, what you want to do. Uh, so that's what we're here for. All right, good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and throw in another round of dead bugs. All right, arms up over your shoulders, knees up off the mat. All right, boom. Remember, we're gonna be here every day, Monday through Friday, 6.30 in the morning, every single day, just like clockwork. For me, for you, and hopefully other people that you know that you're going to share this with. Remember, we're not doing really exaggerated movements. It's just 12 inches with our hands and with our knees of movement. All right. Remember, if you need to stop earlier, that's okay. As I've said before, and I'll say again, it's not where you're at now. It's where you're going. You trick play and trick, you think about where you're going, not where you're currently at. And it has to be the same way with your fitness, your overall health and wellness. Where am I going? What is my goal? What do I want to do? What do I want to feel? Me personally, I want to be able to go play basketball again. And I've felt for the last few months that if I were to go play basketball, I'd probably hurt myself. So by doing these things, it's going to help give me the confidence I'm going to lose some of this weight, and uh, I'm going to be able to go play basketball, which is good. That's what I want to do. All right? So let's go ahead and roll over under our stomachs. All right. Go ahead and put your hands just below your shoulders. Your fingertips and your shoulders should be pretty close in line. What I want you to do now is I want you to lift your knees and your chest off the floor at the same time, you're gonna look like someone that just jumped out of an airplane, falling towards the earth. So it's gonna look a lot like this, okay? Here we're activating the posterior chain muscles. We're opening and stretching the anterior chain, the front of your body. Hold it for two seconds, come on back down. Lift. Any of you see your kids do this when they were in the crib, right? Or on the floor, they hear something, and they're looking. They want to see what they're hearing. All right. All right. The 
body wants stability. And that is why it tends to tighten up more even when you're not moving, especially when you're not moving. It wants to tighten up and protect itself. So we want to create mobility first, let the body know it's safe to move, and then we're going to increase our stability so that when we do move, it doesn't hurt. How many of you out there are not doing something like I'm not doing basketball because it hurt? And we talk about the good old days, back when, right? I don't want to talk about back when. I don't want to use my age as a crutch or an excuse not to do what I should be doing, what I did automatically when I was younger and wasn't even thinking about it. So now I have to be purposeful in what I'm doing. All right, good stuff. All right, go ahead and come on back up into a seated position for a moment. Go ahead and grab a hold of our stretch out strap. I'm going to take that and put it around my right foot. I'm going to lie back on my back again. Yes, I know you could have just stayed out on the ground. But part of the goal is to create that movement. So we did. All right. So let's go ahead and bring our toes towards our nose, using the hip flexors in your body, activating the muscle, and then adding a little bit of stretch. We're not tugging, we're not pulling, we're not forcing it, it's just a gentle pressure. So what are your goals this week? What do you want to do? How do you want to feel? Let me know what I am I'm working with so that I can help you move in that direction. So please comment below. Tell us who you are. Let us know you're watching. Tell me about your story. Where, where, where are you at and where do you want to go? Because together we can do it. And one of the reasons I decided to do this in the morning is to hold myself accountable. You can do the same thing by being here with me and being accountable to yourself, to me, other people watching. We can grow a community of people that feel better, move better, and are better at whatever it is you're doing. Because let's just be honest, who doesn't want to be a better partner? Who doesn't want to be a better parent? Who doesn't want to be a better athlete? Or a better whatever it is that you do for a living? How about being just a better person? Not feeling cranky or moody? They're tied together. Your social, psychological, and physical beings are all intertwined and affect the others. Good job. Come on up to your feet. Find yourself a little bit of a wall. Put your hand on the wall flat. Fingers point behind you. Step forward. Hopefully not on your strap. I just want to slide along the floor here for me. Rotate your body away from where your hand is just a little bit. Pushing forward. Keeping your chest flat, opening up that shoulder joint in front. It's going to help stress the pecs you should feel across the top of your chest here and into the shoulder. 
That's where I feel the most is the shoulder. Step back, right, raise your hand a little bit higher up on the wall. So if you were to have both hands up, it would look more like a Y instead of a T. Okay? Put your fingers about 45 degrees, but face back behind you. Okay? Step forward, slight rotation to the, to the front so that our chest is flat. And stretch. Feels good, doesn't it? All right, let's go ahead and take the other arm. You can use the same wall. In this case, I'm just using the opposite wall because it makes it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Fingers facing straight behind me. Step forward. Slight rotation. Step back. Put your hand higher on the wall. Your fingers should now be at about a 45 degree angle behind you. Step forward. This is going to feel deeper into the pectoral muscle because the angle of the fibers is different. Turn your head to the right. 
forward again. Rotate your head back to the left, as far as you can. And back down. Let's do that two more times. Ready? Lift your chest up off the ground. Looking to the right, slowly rotating your head to the left. And back down. One more time. Ready? such an exciting weekend to uh, go back and relearn some of these very basic movement techniques that uh, we all have forgotten and feel that we're beyond. But it's in the basics that you really learn how to feel better and move better. So getting back to that's very important. Okay. What did I have to roll over here to do? Da, 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 da. Uh, Need more oxygen to the brain. <laughs> All right, what did I have a full over to do for this one? And for the one. Bear with me for just a second. Ah, let's go ahead and do that one while I'm thinking about the other one. So take your arms up over your head, reaching up over your head as far as you can. Bring your left, your right leg up, and small mini crunch here. Bring your leg as high as you can, let it back out. Both hands reaching towards the shin. If you can reach the toe, that's great. If you can't, like me, that's okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Got something caught in the back of my throat. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a deep breath and lift leg. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. Good, I remember what it is that we're going to do next. Movement is good. All right, we're going to take our arms out to the side. You're going to move your knees. Put your feet wide, just wider than the mat. Your knees are going to rotate to the left. Your head's going to rotate the opposite direction to the right. It's going to help ring your spine, so to speak. Okay? So we're going to go knees to the left, eyes to the right. The back of your head should just be skimming the surface that you're on. Three, four, five. Should be about a five second transition from one side to the other. So your knees are here, your eyes are there. Then back, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Keep on going. Again, it's amazing how simple yet effective this is and how it feels to the body to do this in the morning. This is going to set up your whole day. Did you know your metabolism stays higher throughout the day if you exercise in the morning? 
Did you know that your brain function improves because you stimulated it in the morning? You're in releasing endorphins, serotonin, oxytocin, uh, all these wonderful hormones of feeling better, feeling happy, pleasure, are all being released through movement in the morning. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I do. I don't want it. I'm tired of feeling miserable, sluggish. so I don't take up too much of your time. We've engaged in over 20 minutes of movement already this morning to start off your day. I hope you feel better, move better, be better. Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center is located at 19 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street South in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, our website is www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. We specialize in therapy and massage and body work. And uh, very soon, Jemison and I will be offering sessions that include some of these things that you're seeing here today in a very specific uh, manner to help you feel better and move better. So I hope you have a great day. This is the first day of your work week for most of us. And uh, go forth and prosper, as uh, Mr. Spock used to say, one of my old childhood heroes. So I hope you have a great day. All right. Thanks for tuning in.